this uh, conference will now be recorded. Live that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me through on Instagram Live as well. I'm able to see what you guys are writing. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer as much as I can. Okay, so nice to meet you. My name is Esperanza again. I am an advanced educator here with Dermot Swiss, and I've been doing this for about six years now. And um, I want to know, can you guys hear me? Say yes or wave if you guys can hear me. Um, yes. Can you please turn off the microphones here and go to meeting, everyone? Thank you so much. It's only so that we can, um, so that nobody else can be listening to what's behind and you can listen to me. So I need you guys to go into your little icon for the microphone and mute them, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for that because in that way you can all enjoy uh, the webinar and you can listen to only me instead of the uh, surrounding noises. Um, and uh, well, thank you again. Um, we're gonna start now. Um, a webinar runs usually for about an hour, an hour and a half the most. So we're gonna start with the material now, okay? I know that um, uh, some of us still don't have access to working with uh, peels maybe, um, maybe because you are not really trained with them a little bit scared about using peels. We know that there are some stories out there where people say that they got burned because of the chemical peel or because, um, you know, there's there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to peels about using them during certain, certain times of, you know, the year, uh, not using them during summer, etc. So I think we're going to tap a little bit on that, about that today. Um, but first of all, I want to mention also for those of you who are joining me for the first time, um, well, about our company. Um, over here, start switching. Let's see. No, let me get to the right there. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Dermasuit, again, you're going to find us in our social media. Of course, social media is big now for everyone, institutions, for companies as well. You can find us at in Instagram for Dermasuit underscore pro. You can also find us through Facebook as Dermasuit, and you can find us also on YouTube. And through YouTube, you will also find some tutorials. You'll find some information about the line as well. Um, and for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, um, here's a little bit about Dermaswift here and for the go-to meeting. Everyone joining me, you can see that we are an exclusive skincare line. Uh, we've been in the market for 26 years now, a little bit over that, um, 26 years actually. Um, products made in Switzerland, active ingredients that are natural, that are biological, that are um, marine and also uh, botanical. Um, all those we, we cover all skin types and also conditions. Um, our line is compact, and that means that you will be able to find within that line any any sort of, um, you would, would be able to treat all types of conditions of the skin, whether it's acne, whether it's sensitive, rosacea, for example, hyperpigmentation. You would be able to mix and match with our line and create protocols. Um, we also have um, our peels, which is what we're going to be talking about. They are direct peels, and I'll be explaining a little bit about that as well. Um, Paraben-free, very important. Also very important that they're not animal tested. We are very conscientious about the environment as well. Um, we also have very cor uh, strong corporate support. And what this means is that if you have any questions, if you have any doubts about how to use the product, um, you know, about our protocols, you can always contact us. You can always contact your representative and you will find that corporate support. Um, we would be able to train you how to, how to do the, the treatments. You also have through access to our webinars. You have access to our online seminars and also our seminars here in our company in um, the Doral area in Miami. And that is also goes hand in hand with the fact that we're very passionate about education. We think that, you know, education, future estheticians and, you know, estheticians that are already practicing, it's always key because that's what's going to make you uh, different than, you know, other people out there that are not probably uh, keeping up with the trends and technology and the ways how to do um, the proper uh, skincare. Um, treatments, uh, we remember that we treat the epidermis and it's a very uh, delicate organ in our body, the skin. So we need to always be 
updated and how to treat it and all the new mechanisms and the new um, type of you know products and the new technologies that we can offer to our clients within that range um, that we can work um, again the company is a versatile and effective uh, line um, this means that again you're gonna have not a huge amount of product that you need to work with. It's not necessary. When the products are effective, you will be able to create protocols. But we also offer already a book of protocols, which makes it easy for you when you're starting to learn and how to use the line because you follow the ABCs or the one, two, threes of that protocol um, according to the situation that you're gonna be working and you will do just fine. So. Um, you can also have access through our representatives, and that's part of, of our corporate training as well. So you have a book of protocols that you have access to where you can find different treatments uh, for different conditions and skin types as well. Um, so what are the advantages of the Derma Swiss Acid Peels or our Peelix line? First of all, they are progressive and not aggressive. And this is very important because what I said before, as estheticians, we need to work very delicately with the skin. We know that we can't offer too uh, many invasive type of treatments. So the way that we can start seeing and noticing changes to the skin of the client is by working little by little progressively. So our, our peels are very, very, um, effective but you know by doing them with a certain amount of time you're going to start noticing changes to the skin the other advantage is that um, you can dilute those peels with the scrub now the peels are direct peels this means that we don't have combinations of peels in one formula um, we have a straight glycolic lactic a straight salicylic mandelic so depending on what you want to treat for the skin you would be able to choose which one you want to use now by diluting it that means that you're bringing down a little bit that potency and you're able to use it with the scrub to prepare the skin before extractions or before another peel that you're going to use directly on the skin so you're able to do that you're able to you know um cocktail the peel with the scrub to prepare the skin with an exfoliation prior to a direct peel on the face, on the skin. Um, what are indications for chemical peels? Photo-aged skin, remember that photo-aging is when you find fine lines and wrinkles, when you find latines, or when you find um, freckles on the skin. Also, photo-aging means um, dehydration or inflammation of the skin. Um, so you, be, you would be able to work that as well. Um, when you find dullness and lifeness of the skin, dry, oily skin, working salicylic or mandelic on oily skin is excellent uh, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you with evening out the skin tone and also controlling the sebaceous gland. Um, you will also be able to treat rosacea, which we sometimes are scared of rosacea because we know that it's a condition of sensitivity to the skin. Uh, but you're, don't be scared about that. When you, you, when you know how to properly follow our protocol, you would be able to work rosacea as well. Um, of course, another uh, sign of aging or photo-aging or in cases of, um, for example, hormonal situations, then we'll be talking about melasma um, or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation due to acne. Um, and sun damage. And of course, superficial scars that you can also work with peels, uh, such as post-trauma, post-surgery, and post-acne as well. Okay, now, um, let's see right here. Thank you. Um, contraindications for chemical peels. This is important, okay? Remember that everything that we do, you might find that there's a contraindication. Um, we always uh, figure this out before starting a treatment, when we do the client consultation. It is important that you do the client consultation, that you ask all the proper questions to find out if you're gonna be able to do a certain treatment, especially when it comes to peels. So some of these are pregnancy, lactating mothers, no chemical peels, active herpes lesions, you know that it's contagious, you know that you would be uh, spreading the lesion, so it's a big no-no. Um, also sunburn, windburn, broken skin. You do not do peels on sunburn or on broken skin or even windburn. The skin has already, it's in a process of inflammation and you don't wanna add 
more to it where it's going to make it worse. So the skin first needs to calm down, be soothed, maybe with another type of treatment, and then they come back for a peel. If recently they have waxed, no peeling, um, you have to wait for a week. Warts and molds, same thing. Be careful about warts. They are also, they spread as well. So you don't want to be doing peels on warts. Um, and when it comes to molds, be careful. Uh, again, you can always um, cover the mold with a little bit of an occlusive uh, cream or Vaseline just so that you don't go over the mold. Autoimmune system diseases. Um, recent radioactive chem chemotherapy, there are chemotherapy treatments, no peels. Allergies to certain ingredients, for example, if you have somebody that is allergic to aspirin, then you have to be careful about salicylic. Maybe do a patch test before, or if they're, um, you know, allergic to the um, nuts, or in this case, the almonds, in case of the mandelic acid, then you would have to also be pre uh, prepared to do a patch test before a chemical peel with mandelic. Um, Accutane. Accutane, you guys know, it's a very aggressive medication for acne. So usually we don't treat our clients when they're on Accutane. And if they're off Accutane, we have to wait for about a year for us to be able to do any sort of exfoliating treatment. Anything that is mechanical or chemical needs to be, um, you know, needed to wait for about a year first. Um, and then, of course, the use of retinols, retinoic acid, you know, anything like Renova, Retin-A, Differin, Tozerac, all those are derivatives of vitamin A. And if they're um, prescribed specially, then you need to tell your client that they need to go off five days before so that you can do the peel. No direct peels on, on a client that it's on any of these vi vitamin A derivatives. No questions? Okay. These are side effects um, for the peel. So um, so go to meeting. You guys can see right there. Um, you have frosting. Now, <laughs> excuse me, frosting happens when you apply a salicylic acid, for example, on the skin, but the you know the skin it might be dehydrated or you have lesions. That's basically a chemical burn. Now, some doctors may look to, for that to happen, but as estheticians, we shouldn't have that happen because, again, it's a chemical burn and we wouldn't be able to control that in a proper way. So, as estheticians, we have to be careful that the skin is very hydrated and there's no open lesions when using salicylic acid because this can actually be a side effect from that, and that is called frosting. Do you have any questions here on my go-to meeting? Let's see. Um, well, uh... What are types of diseases? Oh, anything that has to do with um, it could be probably in some cases lupus, for example, could be one of them. Um, they're asking me what type of autoimmune diseases, um, you know, things like HIV, things like that. We have to be careful because um, any little lesions or any little burn that we might create on the skin. Um, remember that when we're doing chemical peels. Anything can happen. Something like frosting can happen, for example. And you don't want to uh, cause anything like this breaking the skin because then the autoimmune system is not properly working. So it wouldn't be able to heal correctly. Um, and in this case, you know, you wouldn't be able to control by medicating a person with an antibiotic, for example. Uh, so that's what, what we mean about um, autoimmune system. Anything that has to do with autoimmune means that you're... Um, your immune system is not working properly, and then anything that might happen, then you wouldn't be able to control that through medication because we're not doctors. Um, this is another detail that we have here is the derma scrub. So some of you already know the line, and you know that the derma scrub is the only scrub that we have, and um, we have it, so it, it's an enzyme. It's for all skin types. It's an enzymatic scrub. So this means that we have the papaya extract. We also have the atomaceous earth, which is the particle that is being used to exfoliate the skin. The atomaceous earth is actually a fossilized uh, type of algae that contains a lot of silica and it's very rich and very um, in proteins, but it's also very healing to the skin. Um, and also the spoilane, which is right from the papaya. So it's a very gentle but effective scrub. This one, you can actually mix it with our peels. So, so 
Um, here's like a little formula for those of you who are on GoToMeeting. You can see from the ones that are joining me in through Instagram, we have, you can use Dermascope with three drops of salicylic acid. And this is great for your oily and acne skin. And this is going to help you with the sinquestration. So you will leave it on the skin and then you would add the steamer and you can leave it on uh, for about five to eight minutes. The dry and dehydrated skin, Dermascope and three drops of lactic acid. It's going to help to disincrustrate. And then for normal skin or even rosacea, dermoscrub with two pumps of the glycosel. Now, our glycosel is it's a 12% glycolic, so it's very, very mild, and it's great for um, rosacea or normal skin. Um, in the case of rosacea, you always have to be careful about the steamer. So, you know, keep in mind that you want to either leave it a little bit further away um, sometimes we, what we do is we add a little bit, um, we add a bit of a, uh, the four by four wet on top of the skin before. So it kind of acts like a barrier is, and the theme is not hitting directly to the skin, but it's still going to help with the, um, it's still going to help, help with the disinfestration. Okay. Um, these are our Pelix, um, our peels that we have in the Pelix Plus. We have mandelic at a 15%, lactic acid, it's a 50% as well, uh, a 50%, mandelic is 15. So let me let me uh, rephrase it so that it doesn't sound like 50. Mandelic is 15%, lactic is at a 50%, okay? Um, we have the glycolic at both a 30% and a 40%, and um, salicylic acid, 15%, perfect. Yes, if frosting occurs, you will neutralize and then um, you apply an epi factor on top. Okay, the epi factor is our 911, guys. The epi factor is excellent to have in hand while doing a peel or while doing any sort of invasive treatment like microneedling, for example. This good because it's an epithelial um, restorer and it's going to help with, you know, renovating the skin, healing the skin, any wounds of the skin. It's going to help you heal as well. Okay. Okay. Mandelic acid. Again, mandelic acid is for all skin types. So mandelic acid can be used on extractions or right after extractions, I mean. So you can actually prepare the skin, let's say with the derma scrub, a little bit of glycosol, right? Or maybe you did the derma scrub with a lactic, for example. Um, and then you do extractions because that person needs some extractions. After you're done with using that high frequency on the skin, you can go ahead now and apply the mandelic acid. It works perfectly for after extractions, for all skin types, for all skin spasters as well. Um, Mandelic, it um, helps a lot in the cases of rosacea, for example, to bring down because Mandelic is anti-inflammatory. Um, it's anisteboric as well, and it's going to help with um, blocking tyrosinase, which is in, in the melanin. Um, it's going to be a melanin inhibitor, basically. So it works perfectly for hyperpigmentations as well. And it's a very gentle peel. Remember that the molecule is bigger of the mandelic, so it doesn't penetrate as fast into the epidermis, and therefore the reaction is not as severe. Then um, mandelic is an alpha hydroxy acid, a family. Um, it is derived from the almonds, from bitter almonds. So be careful about those of, of your clients who might be allergic to bitter almonds. Um, Again, great for all skin spatrics. Um, it is one of the most effective acids when it comes to hyperpigmentation because it, it's a melanin inhibitor. Um, it's a serious that we can use it as a flash treatment before the use of a professional makeup because it's going to leave a glow on the skin. And today we're going to be showing you the, the protocol with my model that it's our brightening, illuminating, and that's one of the effects that it has on the skin. Um, so, acne. For my GoToMeeting um, viewers, we have here, this is one of our protocols. This is the Acne with the Mandelic Acid Protocol. And just quickly showing you guys so that you can see, you know, that you can actually come to more of our seminars where you can see in live all the, um, the protocols and we show them through maybe um, a demo. Um, so yeah, we have Acne with Mandelic Protocol. 
We have the brightening illuminating protocol, which is the one that we're going to be doing today. This is what we call the J Glow protocol because it gives you a beautiful with um, glow within uh, type of um, effect. And it's perfect to use maybe a day or two days before an event because the skin looks better and better and better with time. Um, we have our lactic acid. This was extracted from the sugar of the milk and it's great for, um, let's see, hi. Yes, it's great for the um, mature skin. It's great for, you know, adding hydration to the, the skin, but it also works perfectly for hyperpigmentation. The only thing that you have to be careful about lactic is that it's more photosensitive. It's one of the most photosensitive compared to the other alpha hydroxy acids. Um, it's very, very hydrating, like I said before, okay? And we leave it on up to three minutes. So one of our protocols with this one would be our nourishing anti-aging um, protocol. And this one involves lactic acid, you know, our, our scream night cream, our de-aging solution of a serum, which are very rich, very nutritive, and it's excellent for more mature type skin. Then we have the recovery antioxidant master protocol as well. And then this one, we involve the lactic acid and then we, you know, bombard the skin with vitamin C with antioxidants. So this is great for somebody that the skin is a little dull, that the skin needs some more antioxidant effects, plus the effects of the lactic acid with its hydrating and also illuminating properties. In our ugly colleagues, we have a 30% Okay, and we have a 40%. So it's the same. The only um, characteristic which is extracted from the sugar cane, um, you know, it's a very small molecule, so it penetrates deep, deeper into the epidermis. Um, it actually affects already at the dermis level by sending messages, you know, to um, uh, to the um, uh, fibroblast, and this way our dermis is also thickened through the use of the glycolic, which is great because that's going to give us a bit of an anti-aging anti effect. Um, also, you know, it's widely used in cosmetics. It's a, a non-surgical type of treatment, great for acne, great for hyperpigmentation. But this is the one that is actually going to help in, it'll give you more benefit when it comes to anti-aging because it does help with thickening the dermis as well. Um, and then the hydrating anti-wrinkle. Uh, involves the glycolic, um, we mix it with the um, with the scrub, and then we also do um, you know hyaluronic acid. We use collagen infused masks, so it's very very hydrating but very anti aging at the same time. Um, and then our salicylic acid, our salicylic acid. Um, what is this? Okay, so um, the salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. Um, it's keratolytic by nature, so it's liposoluble, it's lipophilic, it likes oil. So what it does is going to exfoliate from the surface and it's gonna go into the pores and it's gonna exfoliate the pores. It's gonna remove the skin cells that are blocking the pores. So it's excellent for oily skin and it's excellent for um, you know repairing also an acne. Um, uh, it's going to help with uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's going to help with thickened skin, scaly skin um, that has been thickened by the by the sun, by the accumulation of the skin cells and oils of the skin. Um, with salicylic acid, again, it's at a 15%. And um, again, just be careful when it comes to the part of the dehydrated skin because of frosting. And then our neutralizer. And our neutralizer, um, it's a bicarbonate solution. It's an alkaline solution. So we always, always, always neutralize our peels. We never just leave them. They're not a leave and auto neutralize. You need to neutralize the effect so it doesn't keep seeping into the epidermis and it doesn't cause over dehydration by the effect of trans epidermal water loss. So you always need to neutralize. Um, and then once you neutralize, you also wash with uh, fresh water the skin and make sure that it's left clean. This is the epifactor that we were talking about that you can also use in case of maybe something like a, like a frosting or maybe the skin is a little bit, um, there's erythema happening. You can use the epifactor. We use it for after peels. We can use it 
before after microdermabrations. We can use it after any sort of microneedling, for example. Um, and the ingredients, and the best thing about it is that it has the extracts of plankton, and plankton is basically is going to give this product the benefit of healing. It's very rich in proteins. Um, it helps with uh, metabolism as well. Um, it also contains um, uh, oligo elements. It has um, glycolic acid, aloe vera. So it's very, very, very healing. Um, and then the cocktail with the derma scrub. Again, these are the ways that you can cocktailize the derma scrub so that you can use it for your client. But for acne, salicylic, and also for oily skin. Uh, for dry skin, you will use a lactic acid. For wrinkly skin, you would use glycolic acid. Um, devitalized uh, skin, again, glycolic acid as well, and um, salicylic acid and mandelic in case of, um, you don't we don't cocktailize mandelic actually. Mandelic, we use it straight because mandelic is a, a 15%, so it's very, very gentle. Okay, guys, so um, for my go-to meeting, this is our Felix Plus kit, um, and today we have a special value. There will be a code for those of you that are also joining me on Instagram that I'm going to mention in a little bit. Um, and basically, you know, the Felix Plus involves all the peels that I was talking about, plus the um, Epifactor, the Derma Sun, which is very important because the Derma Sun, we have to always wear SPF after any sort of treatment. We, our clients cannot leave the treatment room without SPF. So it does include the Dermasun. Um, some of the brushes that we use as well to apply the, um, the peel, we also in, uh, include these little jars right here. Okay, these little jars are perfect for the amount that you need of the peel of the solution right here. Um, and like I said, the little brushes that come with the, with the um, kit, like so, okay? They're perfect size. So that you know it's not going on the eyes or anything like that. So it's a perfect size for the peels, um, and it also comes with the Epifactor and Glycocell. So Epifactor is going to repair, and the Glycocell is also going to help you with disincrustation. Okay. We also have like a starter kit, and then the starter kit comes with the uh, Epifactor as well. It it's going to come with Mandelic. Why Mandelic? Because mandelic, it's for all the skins, all the colors of skin, all the types of skin, rosacea as well, you can treat with mandelic. So that's the one that you're going to be able to use in the most friendliest manners for all the skin types. You also have the derma scrub and the glycosol. And then all of this is going to be with a 10% off. So you know that it's very important because you're going to have it in your bar, in your back bar, you're going to have it in your treatment room. And anytime we do peels and you want to uh, anytime you want to see changes on the skin, peels is the way to go because it's going to actually start removing and helping you move all the dead skin cells. You're going to start seeing differences within, within weeks when it comes to hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles. So this is definitely something that you need to add if you still don't have it in your back bar so that you can actually start seeing an impact on the skin, okay? Okay, um, and then we also have the brightening illuminating kit. Um, this is the one I'm going to be showing today. Um, and this one is also a great value. It's going to involve the masks as well in the kit. You have um, about six or seven masks in the kit. Um, and then you have, again, the, um, the um, in this case, you have the nanosphere, you have the derma C, which is our vitamin C, which is a great formula for hyperpigmentation, adds great active ingredients, um, ethyl ascorbic acid, which is one of the most stable uh, forms of vitamin C, ferulic acid, when you join them together, those two are very potent and they're great for hyperpigmentation, great for luminosity in the skin, you can use it day and night as well. And also, it's going to come with glycolic and mandelic. Okay, so I'm going to start now with the with the demo, and you know all our attendees for today are going to have a code, and the code is acids, okay, acids two nineteen. So you're going to call your representative, and you're going to let them know that you have the code acids two nineteen, so you can get the discounts that are here for today. Okay, so um, let me start right now. I'm going to prepare my, I'm going to get my gloves. So we always use gloves. Remember that it's very important for uh, safety reasons for the client and for ourselves as well. And I'm going to start cleansing the skin with our dermatonic. Our dermatonic, it's 
the the solution that we have for cleansing for all skin types okay um i mean not the dermatonic the derma cleanser the derma cleanser our dermatonic is our toner and our derma cleanser is our cleanser now um it's a gel okay but because it's a gel it's great for oily skin but normal skin as well you know dry skin can use it as well in treatment room you would be able to use it now if you want to specifically treat a, another condition of the skin or another type of skin then you can go ahead and um you know offer the gentle cleanser to your client or in the case of acne then you will go with your purifying cleanser but you know, for treatment rooms, you can very well use the Derma Cleanser. It's hydrating. Um, it does have vitamin C as well and aloe vera. So it's very gentle, very repairing, and very, very soothing. Um, it feels fresh on the skin. It's not heavy at all. And um, and it's very a, a very gentle smell to it as well. So it's not overwhelming. And um, it does a great job at just removing the right amount of dirt and grime on the skin without um, actually, um, you know, without actually brushing away at the at the mantle. So it's not going to remove all of our healthy lipids of the skin, but it will hydrate and it will cleanse uh, properly. So remember that if you have a client that comes in, um, we always do two cleansings, okay? But if you have somebody comes in with a lot of makeup, what we do first is cleanse with the gentle cleanse, our gentle cleanser is um our gentle cleanser is very uh, milky okay so because it's milky it's going to help us remove makeup but since we're going to be doing a peel we want to remove any lipids residue so then we go ahead and start using the gentle cleanser okay so again i kind of wet my skin a little bit just to make it kind of run a little bit more she did absorb a lot of the product um her skin is it's a normal skin okay she doesn't have big pores but nonetheless, she's still having a little bit of a breakout here at the chin area. She has very little. So this is actually going to help her because we're going to be using glycolic and we're going to be using also mandelic on her. Okay. So now I'm going to remove. I'm also using fresh water. I don't like to use hot water. Remember that hot water is going to, first of all, create inflammation of the skin. And we never want to have inflammation of the skin um, by the, by the um, use of hot water because it's going to, if there's inflammation, then we might be creating other problems to the skin. Oftentimes our clients come in and you, you notice redness on the cheek area, the nose, and you know they don't have rosacea. You only see that the skin has been sensitized. And it's usually because they like to use hot water in the shower and that's very dehydrating and it causes a lot of inflammation. And then in the long run, what that's gonna do, it's going to cause hyperpigmentation. So we need to educate our clients. It's important that when we do the skin analysis, we explain what we see, and then we give them the, um, the instructions on how to take care of their skin. Okay, another transfer. So yes, I like to use fresh water, and if we're doing peels, and the client feels that the skin is feeling a little hot, then you don't want to use hot water. You want to soothe. Thank you, Ms. Gina Lee. Let me see. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna do uh, the second step. And let me go back to the, um, hold on. for my viewers here on GoToMeeting, I'm going to go back so that you guys have on the screen the brightening illuminating protocol. So. I did the derma cleanser. Now I'm going to do the scrub and I'm going to cocktailize the scrub with five drops of glycolic at 30%. Okay. So here's our derma scrub with the papaya enzyme, with the atomaceous earth and the, um, the atomaceous earth and the olive extract. Okay. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And we're we're going to apply it with a brush. So here's the glycolic, all right? And I'm going to add three drops, three to five drops. But here I'm going to do, let's see, let's do four. Okay. 
and then I mix and I apply with the brush. Guys, when you apply with the brush, there's um the thing with this scrub is that if your skin, if the person's skin is a bit sensitive, um, you just apply it and you leave it there with the steamer. You don't have to move it around. Remember that it's an enzyme and enzymes work on their own, okay, by exfoliating the surface of the skin. That's why we recommend them on sensitive skin. But if you're going to be doing extractions on a normal skin, for example, or somebody with very oily skin, then you can go ahead you can go ahead and, um, and start moving the scrub around with your hands very gently. We always work gently. Okay, we don't need to be overly aggressive with the skin. Okay, you can also do some on the neck area. And of course, if you're going to be working with somebody for a special location and you include it in your protocol, you can work all decollete area as well. Maybe somebody's going on an event, they're going to be using a cot of dress here, and they want to look fabulous, then you go ahead and treat all that area too. <clears throat> okay. So, you want to go ahead and you start to um, either leave it on, or you use circular movement. Okay, um, and like I said, if you were to have the steamer, you can leave it on for five minutes up to eight minutes. But with the glycolic, we're just gonna leave it on for about, um, in this case right now, I'm just gonna move it on for a little bit for about a minute or two, so you guys can see the whole protocol. And um, again, very gently, just scrub away. And always circular motions upwards, not pulling the skin is not good to pull the skin. We don't need to be aggressive again, like I said before. Okay, nose area. So if you're going to be doing extractions on the nose, work the nose. Simulate those areas where you're going to be working your extractions, okay? And this protocol, the brightening and illuminating, like I said before, it's amazing before any sort of event. The skin is gonna look glowy the next day, and then the second day looks even better. So I would definitely wanna do it a day or two before. Not the same day, because remember that um, we don't recommend on the same day for them to go out and start wearing makeup, only because we did a control wound on the skin and everything's kind of absorbing um, you know, quite uh, quickly into the skin. So you want to let the skin heal. You want to use those good products that is going to help you heal the skin on that first day, and then maybe on the second day by adding your serums, your dermacine, your Epifactor. Everything is going to help heal and restore the skin. Okay, now I'm going to start removing. <clears throat> okay, get a little. Fan brush. I love my fan brush. I'm going to show you guys my fan brush that I use at the end afterwards so that I remove all the little particles that are left behind. Okay. Um, the scrub, remember that it's natural. So this scrub um, in, is not going to leave the skin scratched uh, microscopically, it's not tearing at the skin. Um, your you know, you're using the the atomaceous earth. And again, that's a natural source from the ocean. Um, and it's not gonna scratch at the skin. Um, it does have silica, which helps with repairing the skin. Um, oftentimes the atomaceous earth is used in products for eczema and psoriasis. So it's actually very healing. And here in our product, it's gonna help us with the uh, exfoliating process. But at the same time, it's not, like I said before, we're not tearing at the skin. Sometimes our clients come in, they say that they're using scrubs from, you know, over-the-counter stores. And basically, those type of scrubs have a lot of, like, plastic particles in them. It's very sad because it just alters their pH. It alters their acid mantle. Um, they over-exfoliate as well. We have to teach our clients not to over-exfoliate, not to disrupt the acid mantle, because when they over-exfoliate, they're just eliminating all those good lipids that the skin has. And by doing that, you're just going to create more problems and you're sensitizing the skin. So um, you just need, they need to understand that exfoliating, depending on the skin type, uh, sometimes it's only once a week or in some cases every two weeks or even up to once a month, okay? So when we sell them, it's 
a product that is going to be exfoliating to use at home, we really got to educate about how they're going to use it and what would be the consequences if they don't do it the correct way. Um, and then also, of course, they need to take home um, uh, sun protection, their SPF, and also they need to take home some sort of hydration or serum to lock in all that moisture. Okay, so now I'm gonna dry just a little bit so that all whatever little bits are left behind can fall off the skin. Very gently, again, pressing, gently. Okay. And now I'm going to brush away any little particles that she has, like so. Very gently. And already um, the glow is fabulous, already. Just by cleansing and exfoliating, I can see such difference on her skin. She's not red, there's no inflammation. Um, you know, it's very hydrated already just by the use of the cleanser and the scrub, because remember it has squalane. And squalane is very, very healing and also very hydrating, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the skin. So um, my go-to meeting, um, invites here, we're going to have the third step, which is the mandelic acid, okay? But what we're going to do first is we're going to prepare with a little bit of Vaseline on the sensitive areas, okay? And so I'm going to grab some Vaseline. If you don't have Vaseline, you can use like a thicker cream, okay? A very emollient cream that will create like a barrier on the skin so that it doesn't run into like the eyes, it doesn't run to, into the corners of the mouth or the very sensitive area around the nose folds. Um, and also if you have somebody with a, a tattoo on the on the eyebrows or uh, microblading and things like that, you also wanna create that barrier in those areas as well. Okay, it's just, just a little bit goes a long way. Again, you don't need to overdo it with Vaseline. It's just a little bit on the those sensitive areas. Sometimes it tends to happen that it puddles here. So you don't want that. You want to make sure that also if it does puddle, you have to remove it. Just create a little bit there. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit where she has, let me see. No, she's fine. The the little bit of um, acne that she has is still closed, so it's not going to burn her or anything. And I think it's going to do her good anyway. Um, so we've done that. And now I'm going to add into my little jars. Okay, I have two right here. One's gonna have my my mandelic peel and the other one's gonna have my neutralizers. So it's one whole dropper, okay? One dropper of the mandelic. Oh, and I'm also going to do one more thing before I do that. Make sure that their eyes are covered and protected as well. So I like to use a little bit of the dermatonic. Our dermatonic has, uh, contains vitamin C hyaluronic acid, and also um, green tea. So it's great um, antioxidant. It's gonna refresh her eyes, but at the same time, it's going to help me by creating also another barrier. Um, sometimes we have curious clients that wanna be looking at what we're doing, and we don't wanna drop any of that you know, acid peel on them, so we close our eyes. So one dropper of the Mandelic at 15%. Okay, and then one whole dropper, or maybe it's just a little bit more of the of the neutralizer. Okay, the neutralizer right there. So I would add just a little bit more, just because you know um, you want to have extra neutralizer. And then we have our two separate um, brushes. They're tiny. They're so cute because they go around nooks and crannies very nicely. We don't go over the eyes. We are able to control. The other thing is that we, the way that we, the manner that we apply it on is by starting at the center of the face out. First one half, then the second half. And this is important because we're going along the lines of the leg and heart uh, lines, which are our, our natural tension lines. Um, now we're going to ask, be asking her from one to 10, 10 being, you know, like a burning sensation. Do you feel anything? No. No? Okay, good. So usually our clients do not feel anything. Again, Mandelic is very gentle. Mandelic is a, a bigger molecule, so it does penetrate a lot slower into the skin. Um, you usually do not have irritation with Mandelic. 
the only kind of irritation you might find if it's somebody didn't know that they were allergic to um, to the almonds, and you know maybe you have some sort of maybe a redness or reaction to it, but that will be probably the only thing. Um, don't forget on the upper lips. Sometimes we have, we find hyperpigmentation on this area, and that and that people don't know. They're like, why do I have? Why is it dark up there? You know, why is it getting so dark up in that area or down here as well, the mouth? I'll apply just a little bit more where the acne is. Um, and it's because wax. They go, they get a wax, right? They get wax, and then we're gonna do this for eight minutes. I'm gonna have my timer here. Okay, so I'm gonna start my timer. Let me do that before. Forget. <clears throat> um, so they go, they get their they get their wax, but then the technician or wherever the place they went, they don't bother to apply sunscreen. And then sometimes our, sometimes our clients, I mean, they don't know this stuff, right? And then they go out and little by little, if they do it every two weeks, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be hyperpigmentation because with wax, we're removing that skin as well. We're removing skin layers. So um, our clients, that's another thing that we need to tell them. If you ever go get wax somewhere else, always carry your sunscreen with you and apply it. Uh, apply it because you're going to, um, you're gonna get hyperpigmentation. Okay, so I'm gonna change my gloves. Mm. And um, so again, protocol, derma cleanser, the derma scrub. This is why I love our protocol because there's a one, two, three, or an ABC. You're not gonna get lost. You know what you're doing one step after another. Um, you know what that protocol is for. And this is great where you're starting with the line. It's great because you know, and you and at first you don't understand it that much, and then you little by little you start to understand it more in the line. You know, active ingredients, what the chemistry is. But once you get to know the line, then you can start on your own creating your protocol. And if you're not sure about how to do that, um, or if you're not sure if you're making the right steps on creating your own protocols, on um, mixing some of the uh, product, then again you have the corporate training. You have your you. We have our um you know, our, our team where you can call us and, you know, any of our representatives can guide you through. And not many companies have that. Not many companies do that where, you know, who are you going to call in case you went to a store and you, and you bought a product or a set of products and then, you know, if there's so many of them, you don't know how to use them. And it's hard to find that corporate type of treatment where you have the person's number, you can give them, send them a WhatsApp message, you can send them a, you know, a voicemail and they'll call you back. And that happens here in Miami locally, that happens in any of the cities of Florida or even in other states. You also, if you're from either any of the countries in Central or South America, then we have a lot of clients as well you always have that backup through um, either, you know, doing things like this FaceTime, for example, uh, webinars, seminars, and then having access through your representative through a phone call and, you know, they're, you know, they're there. So that's what I love about this, that there's a big, big support when it comes to, you know, corporate uh, training and corporate support. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for that amount of time. After that, what we're going to do is, again, I always say if the skin allows. So I have her for eight minutes, okay? If the skin allows. If I have a glycolic on her, it's gonna be for about three minutes. If the skin allows. What does that mean? That means that if I see that her skin is changing, this is why having lights is important. This is why when we do a peel, we're not there with a dim light. We need to have bright lights. You need to see how the skin is reacting. You need to see if there's any erythema happening. Um, if there's blotching where, you know, the proteins are starting to become white or frosty. So you need to see all those little details. Um, you don't want to step out of the room and leave your client alone. Okay. Um, and Monica, she's excellent. See, Monica, una belleza. Um, she's awesome. She's great. She's, um, she's a great representative as well. She's very informative. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful for her as well. Um, so what I was saying is that you never leave your client alone. We are always with them. Um, we are always, you know, making sure that sh there's no erythema, 
that she doesn't feel any burning sensation. And you, the other thing they should always have in hand is clean water. So I already have my three bowls here. My water that I was using first the cleansing, then the one I removed the, the um, scrub, and then I have the water that I'm going to be using to remove my peel. It's clean water. So you always have those at hand. Once you're gonna do a peel, you know that you're gonna have your timer, okay? Your timer is gonna be there, so you can start the time as soon as you start applying it. If the skin allows, then you leave it for the whole amount of time. If you start seeing there are changes, then you remove it. You don't make the client hold. You don't make them hold for the time that they need to. You, you know, you remove it, You if it's burning, you neutralize first, and then you go ahead and apply water. So always neutralize first, and then you go ahead and you wash off. And I always wash about four to six times, only because you wanna make sure that the peel is, or everything's removed from the skin. Another thing that happens um, that is normal is that once we start removing, um, or not removing, but neutralizing the peel, the client might feel that there's a change in the pH. So they feel like, a, they feel like a, like it says, oh, it starts to burn a little bit, or they still, they, they're gonna tell you it's starting, starting to itch. And that's normal because we're bringing back the pH of the skin. So remember that we start with a 5.5 or something like that. But then when we do the peel, in this case, we're bringing it down to a three. So when we apply the neutralizer, which is an eight again, then that pH is gonna go up rapidly. And that's when the client starts to also feel a little bit of a change. It's normal, it happens but then it starts to, um, you know, it dies down in about 15 seconds. Um, another thing that is normal is that if you're applying a glycolic or a lactic, for example, which are a little bit stronger, remember that glycolic is a smaller molecule, what may happen is that your client at first is gonna start feeling a, like a burning sensation, like, a, like an itching sensation. That shouldn't last more than 15 seconds. It's normal that it lasts in the beginning, but after that, it should also start to mitigate. If it does not happen, and it's been 20, 30, 40 seconds, up to a minute, and that is burning and itching and it's turning red, you need to neutralize immediately and wash away, okay? So those are other things that you guys have to consider and be aware of when you're doing um, the peel, that everything needs to be there, ready for you in case of something. And um, always be prepared and calm and collected. Mm -hmm. So this is why we teach you all these things, like what could be the consequences of doing, um, or what could be the side effects of, of appeal, you know, what to expect so that you're prepared. Knowledge is key on everything that we do. Knowledge is key. So always learning, always preparing yourself. It doesn't matter what line you're using at the end of the day. What is important here is the, the chemistry overall of how peels work. And then you go ahead and you get your trainings, okay? You get your trainings with Derma Swiss so that you know how our line works and what is the proper protocol, okay? So now I'm going to start neutralizing. It, it is the right time for me to stop, um, start uh, neutralizing. So I get my second little brush, okay? And I start neutralizing at the same time where I started. So I started on the left side for me. I'm a lefty, so I usually start at the left. Okay. Um, you start seeing a lot of bubbly as well, and that's because of the bicarbonate. Remember, this is, this is an alkaline solution. So we did an acid solution first. Now I'm doing an alkaline solution, okay? So. Perfect. over the mustache, over the nose, and I go over again, just anywhere. All good? Mm -hmm. Yes? Perfect. Yeah. This is what I was saying that she says it feels a little more. Of course, it's the pH changing back again with the neutralizer, but then it goes away. And then you don't have to wait any minutes for it to settle. You just go ahead now um, and you start washing with cold, not cold water, but with fresh, cool water and start removing 
everything off the skin. Okay. So I don't, again, using four by fours is the most gentle way. Four by fours. I'm going to remove now these two by twos from the eyes so I can have better access. Okay. Perfect. Head. And second wash. How do you feel? Good. Mm -hmm. Third wash. Making sure everything has been removed. There is nothing left be behind or residues or anything. <clears throat> And just one more time. Perfect. Okay, guys. So now we have neutralized and we have washed away. So we're gonna be now applying the Derma C. And remember when I was talking about our formula, Derma C, it's our vitamin C, it's a new formula. I love it because, I mean, it just works, it's perfect. Um, we have the ethyl ascorbic acid, 3.0 ethyl ascorbic acid, which is one of the most, um, one of the most stable molecules. It's hydrolipidic, it means that it's going to penetrate the epidermis quite uh, readily. It's going to absorb into the deeper layers. It is very stable, so it's not going to oxidize. Um, you can use it day and night. The other thing is that it does have ferulic acid. And when you, when you join ferulic acid with the, um, this molecule, you basically have a super powerful antioxidant. Uh, ferulic acid on its own is antioxidant. It helps with... Um, with you know healing the skin so when they come and they join together for look at it actually gives the vitamin c a more more of a potency um so they work in synergy together um for antioxidant purposes and also for hyperpigmentation another important fun fact about our derma c it is that it has one of the molecules called melanocetin and that one what it basically does is that inhibits the production of of the melanin by working straight into the hormone connection. So the hormone that stimulates melanin, it's going to block that, um, you know, that action between the hormone and the um, and the receptors that actually start creating melanin. So it's actually a very, very potent formula in a very gentle um, derma C. It's not irritating, it's not, it doesn't burn or anything like that. And again, it's great for even the daytime. And I also like to offer it, not just for hyperpigmentation, I like to offer it even for those with a little bit of copper skin, because remember that vitamin C, it's also going to help with restoring collagen synthesis. So oftentimes when we have those capillary problems, it's because the collagen surrounding those capillaries are weak. So we can also offer that. The second thing that I'm gonna apply now is our nanosphere. Okay, and this is our cell um, stem cell technology. It's a liposomed uh, product. This means that in the, it's, um, all the active ingredients are inside a little liposome or vehicle that is going to help penetrate deeply into the epidermis. So it is stem cell of green apple. It also has um, 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 collagen and elastin, hydrolyzed collagen and elastin. It also does contain. Um, uh, peptides that are going to help with repairing um, the skin and the collagen as well. So it's a very restoring uh, type of product that you can also use while doing peels um, for restoring the skin. You can also use it alongside hyaluronic acid when you're doing microneedling, for example, just to help you know the skin. Um, bring back elasticity and hydration and repairing. 
because it does have the stem cells of the green apples. It's going to help with the production of our own stem cells, with the multiplication of our own mother cells at the basal layer, okay? Um, let me go back to, uh, okay, so we're reconnecting here in the Instagram. We're gonna see if it reconnects. Okay. And now um, I'm going to, now it has absorbed, okay? So we did the derma C and now the nanosphere plus. And now what I'm gonna do is the brightening mask. Now, our brightening mask comes in a powder form and it's a hydroplastic mask. It's a peel-off mask, okay? It comes like this, okay, in a little pouch. And the little pouch gives you enough for sometimes even two masks if you divide it. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I'm gonna use the whole um, portion of the mask. You will mix it with a 3.5 ounces of uh, water. And what I love about it is that it's very fresh as well. It helps with the, um, it does have the black currant, which is very rich in vitamin C. It also contains some of the um, silica, Trying to open it. It does contain silica, black currant, also uh, vitamin C. Um, besides the the one that comes from the black currant, it has vitamin C as well, um, and also the omega six, which is very rich in lipid, and it's gonna help with the um, cell membrane. Okay, so it comes in a powder form, like I mentioned, and I'm going to add it into a bowl. Okay. I don't know if you can see right there, all right. Uh, add it to that bowl, and now I'm gonna start adding little by little the three ounces of water. And this is gonna go on her face. Are you claustrophobic or anything? Can I add it to your whole um, face? Yeah, yeah, yes. Let me start here. I'm gonna share this one, and I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna go live. Checking connection. Okay, guys, I think I'm back with Instagram. Sorry for that, we got disconnected. Um, nothing um, happened right now, we just added the Derma C, and we added the uh, Nanosphere Plus, and now what I'm gonna do is the mask, okay? I'm gonna apply the mask. This is a brightening mask, and it comes like this in a pouch, all right? And this is gonna help, you give, give, help us give that luminosity to the skin. It is also gonna do an occlusive effect, which is gonna help me push down the products even further into the, into the skin. So it's very refreshing, it's very luminous. It does contain vitamin C as well, black currant, omega-6. So it's very rich and it's a very beautiful mask and it smells delicious too. And I'm going to apply and I'm going to mix it with 3.5 ounces of water, but I start little by little, okay? I start mixing little by little. I don't want to do it all at once. And once you start mixing, you gotta just, you know, go really and mix hard you can't just do it slowly you gotta mix hard almost like whipping some like you're making a cake okay like batter and mix more mix some more it smells good right okay it smells like grapes mm -hmm. okay Water. There we go. Okay. And what I want to do before you quickly is I'm going to do a little bit. I can protect your hair and everything. Perfect. And I do this just to kind of protect a little bit more of the hair area. Um, but you guys can apply this direct on the skin. You don't need, sometimes um, some masks, what they do is that they add like a four by four or some sort of tissue before um, or gauze under so that they can just pull it off the skin. In this case, since it's gonna be occlusive, it's gonna dry, but it's not gonna stick too much to the skin or the hair or anything like that. So you can actually just 
apply it directly. You don't need to be scared about the eyebrows or the lashes. I probably wouldn't uh, uh, cover the eyes if she did have lash extensions, um, but with her, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna start first here. And again, you wanna leave thick layers so that you can pick it up afterwards and just pull it off. And again, it doesn't tear the hair or the, or the lashes or anything like that. And again, these are 3.5 ounces of water. And then after a while you start to know and gotta you know, calculate the amount of water as you start to get to know the portion of the amounts. Okay. Looking for the lips. Um, I was back in um, Atlanta, when was it, last uh, two weeks ago, and um, a lot of people didn't know that you could do this with their mask, and they loved the fact that when it came off, it was just perfect, it didn't pull the hairs, it didn't pull the lashes, it didn't pull the eyebrows, um, so yeah, like that's something, that's a plus, because you don't need to take that extra step when you see the mask, you know, of applying uh, under it some sort of gauze for it to actually work. And I love it because then it stays straight on the skin, okay? And yeah, it's all the benefits are directly on the skin. They're not being basically restricted by using another layer. And then, you know, where are the active ingredients going to go? Our masks are actually rich in ingredients too. So it's not just for cooling purposes. It's not just for occlusive purposes, but it also does have all the benefits um, like I said before, they're going to help with restoring the skin. And this is not just being a, a, a mask. It's actually going to create that luminosity to the skin as well. And that's why we include it in this J-Glow type of treatment. Perfect. Okay. So, again, we just leave it there for about 20 minutes in your treatment room. You're going to leave it on for 20 minutes. And this is a time for you to start doing maybe massage, um, working on the arm area, the neck area, or in some cases, I know that some uh, clients, what they do is that they have probably already offered something else to the client with the routine. And um, we teach that you can also uh, add uh, something extra like underarm arm whitening protocol and the underarm whitening protocol. You could do it. It's exactly the time that you need for the mask to set for the 20 minutes. Um, and that's the time you're gonna need for the underarms because the underarms is a very quick protocol. And by the time you're done doing it, it's time to remove the mask. And then when you remove the mask and you're finishing with the hydration, then you're gonna have the underarms done and then you go back to remove everything and then your client is ready to go. So for the underarm treatments, you would be able to use the lactic acid. And that one is also included in the kit that we talked about before. For, okay, the lactic acid you're going to be able to use it in different treatments for underarms for um, the anti aging protocol. And I'm going to go back again here. Where's my sticker? Um, and just review the okay, hold on. There we go. lactic acid. I'm going to go back to where we have the, the treatments and the, the Pelix Plus kit. Um, so you have your lactic acid again that you will be able to use in many, many different protocols. Glycolic acid you can also use in many, many protocols or mandelic. So it is important for us to, um, for you to know that 
when you do treatments like this, if you offer peels to your clients, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get even more results. Um, especially if you're, you know, when you're working hyperpigmentation, when you're working acne, for example, this is where where you're gonna start seeing even more benefits to the skin. You're gonna start seeing changes to the skin. Um, when you can, what you can do also is offer, for example, a set of uh, peels treatments along with in a different day, maybe a microneedling on a different day. You can offer, I don't know, radio frequency or LED light. So these are things that you can work and mix into your client's routine at your service room. Um, so you can create packages for them as well. So depending on the situation, if you have um, somebody with um, scarring because of acne lesions, then you can offer peels as well alongside on a different day using other methodology to repair the, the scarring from acne. I'm going to turn off this light so that it kind of helps me set a little bit or maybe turn it back here. Um, this type of mask, sometimes with heat, they're not going to, uh, you know, uh, dry. So you need to be careful about keeping your treatment room most cool as well. Um, but like what, what I was saying is that, yeah, there are diff many, many ways that you can combine a, diff a protocol with the peels. So um, again, we don't, we never say do it on the same day, for example, because at the end of the day, we don't want to create more of a problem to the skin if something happens. You don't want to overdo it to the skin, but little by bit, little and progressively, you can definitely offer your client different treatments where you're going to start seeing changes and benefits. But peels are definitely important in your protocols. And if you don't you do them right now, if you don't have them with you right now, contact your representative. And if you don't have a representative, um, you can always call us and, you know, we will um, have somebody assigned to you. <coughs> We have somebody assigned to you. You can always um, inbox us here through Instagram or uh, for GoToMeeting attendees. You can always call us as well. And then the number for us is 305-663-2882. Okay, so you can always call us at that number and a representative will be assigned to you and they can just guide you. I mean, even if you just want information overall, you can contact us and you can come to a seminar, you can join um, our webinars or um, online seminars, and you can always have access through us as well. Um, so this is the, the Pelix Plus. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is um, the self-assessment when it comes to, you know, thinking about how your business is doing. Um, maximizing revenue is important, maximizing revenue. So remember that uh, a lot of what you're gonna be earning back is gonna be through retail, okay? So whenever we have our clients come in, we have a back bar and that's great because that's how we do our treatments. But how are they gonna take care of their skin afterwards? Are they gonna go to a drugstore? Are they gonna go to a department store? So they're not gonna be, you know, they're not gonna have the same uh, products there that are going to have those great benefits that a professional product has with great quality, with great technology. So what you always want to have also available is retail. Um, so the rule is, our rule at least is 60-40, where your budget goes like this, 60% is in retail, and then the 40% is for the other products that you're going to be um, you know, using for your spa. So 60% of your investment is retail but that retail is going to come back to you uh, a double pulled. So remember that it's always added at 50%. So you're going to have a 100% comeback. Um, and for example, this protocol right here, you can very well offer it for, I mean, depending on your area, it can go from 120 to $150, for example. Um, out of the peels, you're going to be getting about 30 uses of the bottle. Um, so if you're going to be investing in this protocol, doing two, of these treatments, you already have your comeback plus whatever retail you sell them. So um, I will have definitely have my client go home with probably an Epifactor or a Derma C. And that's how you're gonna start seeing the comeback of that investment that you're gonna see as well. So you're gonna educate your clients about the importance of incorporating um, corrective products that are you know, prolonged and they're gonna see prolonged um, effects on the skin. Again, knowledge is key, what I said before. So 
the more knowledge you have and the way that you can also educate your client, they're going to start seeing differences on their skin. They're, they're going to understand why you're recommending the products. It's not about selling. It's about recommending. It's about letting them know what it is that they need and why. Um, you know, uh, lose the fear of selling. Again, it's not the selling, it's the recommendations. Um, we recommend the same way that we recommend a shirt, the same way that we recommend a pair of jeans. That's what we're doing with our clients. Um, I always tell, um, you know, when I when I do my seminars or students even, I would say, remember that even though we're not doctors, we are helping the client. They have concerns and they have questions. So the same way that doctors, when we go to a doctor and we have a concern and questions, you write things down, you do your investigative process with the client, but then you also want to write down your recommendations and you want to let them have it so that they can go ahead and buy it. Um, maybe they don't buy it that same day, but at least they take that recommendation and they come back to you um, and they probably will buy the product the next time. Um, reorder for yourself is definitely um, easier when a customer returns to buy a product and decides to have a facial. So reorder, it's always important as well. Um, always, you know, keep keeping up with the client, feedback from the client, calling them to see how they're doing and if they're going to want the products as well. That's important. Um, and also have product inventory. Dermasu is with us. You're always going to have product inventory because, um, again, we offer a lot of retail. So we know that whatever we have for bag bar, you're going to be able to have for retail as well. So you're not going to le be left hanging with a bunch of bag bar products for yourself without being able to offer retail. We're always going to have that for you available. Um, and we guide you through that as well. We guide you with pricing, everything. It's on, um, basically um, for you. So it's very easy to 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 sell or, or it's going to be very easy to recommend. I don't like using the word selling. We're scared of selling, so we're always easy for us to recommend to our to our clients. And again, our representatives are great at that. They're great at helping you find ways to maybe make promotions, um, retail promotions for seasonal promotions, etc. You can always find also in material through us that um, can help you with your spa. Okay, so right now the mask has already set. Okay. Now, like I said before, the mask is supposed to be left on for 20 minutes in your treatment room. This is how it's gonna get the most benefits for the skin. This is how you're gonna get most product penetration to the skin. So 20 minutes, it's our magic number when it comes to our masks, um, not just for the hydro, uh, the hydro mask, but also for the um, our veils, okay? It's also 20 minutes. Um, for demonstration purposes, we always leave it just a little bit less. I'm just waiting for it to kind of, I mean, it is set. I do feel that in some areas it's still a little wet in some areas. Uh, um, it's important for the amount of water. We use 3.5 ounces. Um, I feel that I, I could have probably used a little bit more. I have some leftover water here. Maybe it's just a little bit more to make it smoother, but it's always kind of like a, you're kind of practicing, you know, um, still how to get the right amount. I know that with 3.5, it's 3.5 is just a good amount of water um, and then setting it and placing it right away because if not what's going to happen is going to become lumpy and that happens with any sort of hydroplastic uh, or peel-off mask. You have to work at it fast, you have to move it fast and you apply it on the skin um, and sometimes you know it's just it, what it is. You just apply it and it's, it's a mask. So um, I'm going to try now to start removing. So the way that we do um, Again, I added the Kleenex, and that's for purposes of protecting the hair, hair band, but also the hair. Now, does it sometimes get on the hair? Yes, sometimes there are little bits of hair here and there. But what I love about it is that it doesn't pull the hair. It doesn't stick like gum, okay? It's very easy to just kind of gently move it out. Um, and then if you have some areas where you might find a little bit of residue, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a, four, a two by two or a four by four. You're gonna have a two by two or a four by four and you're going to um, wet it um, and then just remove it very easily, okay? So let's start right now. So I start very gently moving in my hands. I don't know if you guys can see right there, okay. Just kind of massaging it, there we go. 
okay, separating. And then the side as well, kind of just very gently massaging. There we go. All right. So this is her, her mask. Yeah, you see? <laughs> great, great. The, how does your skin feel? Good? It's a nice thing, cool? Yeah, refreshing. Refreshing, right? Yeah. And that's good because we did a peel, so you want to feel refreshed. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just kind of remove a little by little um, the little bits that were left behind there. There we go. It's just some soft. Guys, remember to call your representatives. We're always here to answer your, any of your questions. Um, you can also write us through Instagram in our inbox if you have any questions um, about this protocol, our future classes. Um, remember that we also send the calendars for each month um, so that you can be aware of what classes are coming up in um, here, our offices whatever we do have online, you can also find out through our calendar. Um, so maybe if you can't make it here, but you can be online. Um, you, we also offer that. Perfect. Okay, now, there it is for skin. So I want you guys to see before we apply the, the cream the hydration, her skin is nice and fresh, it's glowing already. This is, this is not, she's not wet guys, there's like a glow right here. Okay, like there's no wetness of the skin. There's no moisture of because I did something with water. No, it's just all the product and it's just all the, um, you know, all the, the, the mask that was on the skin that gives her that glow. Okay, so we have that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish with, um, on her case, she doesn't have dry skin. Okay, she has normal skin. So I'm going to use the Hydra Cube. With Coenzyme Q10, it's hydrating. It also contains squalane and, <laughs> excuse me, vitamin E. So it's very repairing, very moisturizing, very light. I'm going to do that. Okay. And of course, we're going to finish with our SPF. And this is also our formula of SPF 50. Um, it is a mineral SPF. This means that there's no chemicals in it. It's only based off of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And that's what makes it mineral. It is coral reef friendly. So don't be scared about using it when you go to the beach. Um, what I love about it also is that um, it's not greasy, so it's great for all skin types. It's not going to be oily or greasy residue. It goes great under makeup as well. Um, it does contain antioxidants in the form of aloe vera as well and very soothing. So we'll need a little bit, okay? Um, and what I like to do is warm it up a little bit in my hands first on my gloves. And then I just start pressing down. And since it's the mineral makeup, at first it's going to... Um, some people ask me with darker skin, you know, how do we do with darker skin? Same thing. I like to press it down really gently, okay? And then in some cases, I just grab a little bit of the toner on my hands. And um, and I kind of just press it down, and that helps me to um, mix it in with the skin tone, with darker skin. And it looks fine. And you don't need a lot. So... Sometimes people make the mistake of applying so much and it's not necessary. It's like a quarter size amount. And then if you need more, little by little, you keep adding more, okay? So this is my model. This is her skin. We are done for today. And I want you to see the results. You see? Again, the what you see coming through right here, I don't know if um, for Instagram, but I know for my go-to meeting attendees, they might be able to see here. Like there's like a glow on the area of the cheekbones, the zygomatic area, also the chin area. And that's not because of the 
the sunscreen because it doesn't have oil. It's just what is coming through from the skin. So it's literally what well, that glow from within that people love. Um, it, it is what it is. It's just the work of the glycolic, the mandelic, and I give a lot of credit to our Dermacea as well. Our Dermacea is fabulous when it comes to glowy skin. So again, Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you do have any further questions about our protocols, um, call us um, to our number, to our representatives. Send us our, um, through the inbox on Instagram. Thank you for much, so much for being here with me this afternoon. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you soon again. And um, have a great rest of the week, okay? See you. Bye-bye. Thank you guys.